friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing my very first process video for the Wild Hair Kits, which I'm very excited about. I love being on their team. Um, here's the photo that I am working with today and I'm doing the sketch. So you could see it there and I'll, I think I refer back to it. Yeah, I, I, I kind of try and leave it open some of the time to refer back to it a little bit. So if you don't know what the Wild Hair Kits is, um, it is a um, kit club that curates kits according to your style. So basically you fill out a style profile and she will put together a kit according to what you put in your um, style profile. So it's really awesome. I requested a lot of uh, travel things because I'm going away soon. Uh, well, by the time you see this video, I will have already, I will already be back. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> was I listening to music? Oh yeah, I was. Okay. Uh, yeah, but when I got the kit, I was just way too excited and I wanted to start, um, scrapping something with this kit because it is such a good kit. It has cray paper, uh, both wild heart and here and there, which I requested, which is so cool. And I got some things that I didn't request just because I was open to anything. And I got some Pink Fresh Studio stuff, which I'm real, excuse me, really excited about because I've never had Pink Fresh Studio stuff before, other than um, if you've been watching my, um, what is it called? The the uh, kits I got from Hip Kit um, Hip Kit Club. They have some Pink Fresh Studio stuff in it, but it's basically only tassels and then the tiny hearts and tiny stars. So this, I got paper and I got enamel dots and um, let me think, what else? Anyway, other stuff from the collection. I just thought it was really cool that this really helped me branch out into other collections and I love the stuff. I love, love, love the colors, which is basically what this layout is based on. Those beautiful colors from the Pink Fresh Studio collection. It's called um, Sweet and Sweet and something. I have everything linked or, um, well, you can watch my unboxing. I'll link that down below, but I also have a blog post in the Wild Hair Kits blog that gives you details on what everything is. So you can go check that out. Um, I use an ephemera piece for some layers and I think that's here and there ephemera if I'm not mistaken. But this color scheme is really based off of that Pink Fresh Studio collection, which I love. Um, and of course I'm doing my ripped paper thing and I love the layers. I love how it's just not harsh. Um, yeah, but I'm using that blue graph paper and I love that color. That is so pretty. I've no, I don't think I've ever scrapped with that color. So I'm just so happy with how it all came together. And these kits I will say it time and time again, they are jam packed full and I love it. And um, yeah, it was really cool how I got to use that scrap like that. It wasn't a complete thing, but it makes you, it makes it appear as if it is because um, there's a hole there, but I covered it up, which is kind of fun. Um, what else did I want to say? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's all I, I uh, wanted to say. Um, the layers, I just love how the layers came together and it's such a soft, pretty layout, I think, in my opinion. Um, and I love that the, the start of your kit, you would just have so much to choose from. I have 12 by 12 paper, 6 by 6 papers, ephemera, these uh, thickers, I have enamel dots, I have um, these like um, badge, no, what are they called? Flare buttons. I have um, the tiny, the tiny stickers, the itty bitty stickers. What are they called? Anyway, I have so many different stickers and ephemera and papers in this one kit. So I'll link the website down below and you can actually fill out a style profile for free if you want just to, to kind of see what it's like and see what it would be like to order from Wild Hair Kits. Um, yeah. So this is a picture of me at a restaurant. Um, my husband and I went on the long weekend um, for brunch and it was delicious and lovely and it's one of my new favorite restaurants. 
Oh yeah. And I got this sticker sheet too, which is so lovely. I am not sure if I use anything. I don't think I use anything from it for this one, but oh yeah, I use some of the heart stickers, which I love. Um, but on the next, the next layout you will see hopefully soon. I do add, um, I do add more of these stickers because this collection is so much fun. I love cray paper collection so much. I was going to add something at the bottom there, like sweet food or sweet breakfast or something, but the letters are green and there just wasn't any green in the layout. So it would seem silly. So, um, yeah, I just love the soft colors of this. I really think it turned out pretty and I'm happy with it. I think it, I think it looks good. So far, I've only made two layouts so far using the kits, but so far I love how both of the layouts have turned out. These kits are better than I could have picked out for myself. It's awesome, and I'm so excited. I keep thinking every month, oh, when do I get to pick out another style profile? Because <laughs> you never know what you're going to get, and it's going to be something awesome. So these are, things are just so exciting. Um, so I was going to use one of those flares, but it was just too chunky for this layout, but... I use one in my next layout, so you can look out for that. They're really, really cute from the crepe paper here in their collection. And I was consider, <clears throat> excuse me, considering doing paint splatters or an outline around the page, but I, I don't know. I just really wanted to keep it clean and simple and airy and lots of white space, and I didn't really want to add black to it because um, I just would use a black pen. So... Yeah, so I just added enamel dots and that basically finished the layout off. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about wild hair kits, let me know and I hope you have a good day. Bye.